When I look at what, some of the guys that you've been up with, mm -hmm. Tupac, Biggie, Jay Z, best Wayne, of the best. Brad, I mean, yeah, I mean, Dre, Ti. I'm the big homie though. Cause you, you while you bored job, you been at it the longest. I'm the big homie. <laughs> well, a lot, a lot of people get at me and they ask me these stats and these numbers and this what was happening in and there. I was like, all these stories you telling, I'm, I'm the, it. I'm the big homie, and in these stories, in these situations, you talk yeah. about Big Pac, name all these people. I was platinum when these dudes was in high school and middle school and stuff. I was right. out there living and kicking it. So when they came to the party, I was already the big dog at the party. Like, right. you know, Snoop Dogg was in middle school bumping too short. They all, I'm the OG, man. So, you know, these this list of artists I've collaborated with a right. lot of times, a lot of times, majority of the time, they were getting at me. Right. And they're like, I need too short on the song. I brought a whole lot with me. Right. And you know, I'm proud of it, but at the same time, when you look back on it, you look like all of us were right there. But nah, when Jay Z first got at me, no, you way over. I had way more platinums, and I was established. Yeah. All that, so it's it's cool, man. I I love where it all, the way it all played out. I love that when I look back at it, you know, I'm a part of an elite group, right? And and you know, and it's history. It's it's hip hop history. I mean, it's it's, it's I mean, when you think about it, think about when you started. Mm -hmm. I was lit. Look at where we are now. I'm still on the scene. Mm -hmm. it, like you said, you just mentioned Tom Brady. Tom Brady said, look, bro, I'm, I'm three generations. Bro, I did it. 2000, I did it. 2010, here I'm in 2020, still doing work. He's playing against quarterbacks that wasn't born when yes, he got to the league. For sure. <laughs> that was two years old when he got to the league. Did, did you think you would have this kind of success, this kind of staying power when you started? So when you're a legend and you're breaking records and you're blazing trails, you don't care about that or even know that. Right. Because you're a trailblazer. That means right. you're in front. Right. And you, you, you the one burning the trail. Right. You don't realize it till it's a paved road and you look back and go, oh, I, I started that. I did that. So I'm, I'm saying you in that status right. of, of, of just like you're doing greatness. Right. You can't think I'm doing greatness while right. you're doing greatness. You're like just trying to outdo the men in the room with you. Right. And it, and you, and you like um. We talk this stuff about uh, sports eras. Right. Who would have been who in what era? Right. And I'm like, a, a grown man is a grown man. Size, strength, speed. You put that grown man in any, put him back in Africa 500 years ago. He's going to be a man amongst men. Right. Because that's who he is. Right. And I think, you know, you drop me off in any era. You drop me off in this era of hip hop, I'm going to shine. And I just feel that confident about who I am as an individual. Drop me off in the hood in Baltimore, Maryland. Right. I'm gonna get home. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Everybody ain't gonna make it home, but I'm right. gonna make it home. You know what to do. Hit the subscribe button and become an official member of Club Shay Shay, where we do something before two something.